Welcome to what I think is probably episode 9 of Matt on music. Um, I've been doing a lot of Fife music and I'm still doing Fife music because it's it's fun and it's different and I enjoy it. So, um, one of the things though that people sometimes come up with as a question and potential issue for learning Fife is the question of repertoire. How much can you actually play on Fife? Do Fifes and drums just stick with the you know re relatively limited collection of marches and and things that we have uh, historically from the 18th century um, or, or how, how how flexible is this instrument is this something that my child will be able to play for years to come and and learn a great deal of music on uh, now the way that fife and drum is usually handled yeah the, the repertoire is kind of limited and and very much within one genre. But what I've been enjoying exploring for the past few years and now sharing on some of these videos is the fact that indeed you can play quite a bit of music on the fife. So today I wanted to share something from George Frederick Handel, one of the greats of the Baroque classical tradition. This is from the first water music suite of which he wrote, I think, three. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be playing for you, we as in like the multiple recordings of myself, and I will be playing for you two movements together, the beret and the hornpipe. Now, for those unfamiliar, a beret, well, well a, a music, one of these suites in general, is generally a collection of stylized dance forms that are put together with an ensemble of instruments and you could dance to them but uh, by this point they've been sort of um, formalized into uh, just music to listen to such as the water music suite to be played on the Thames as the boat goes back and forth. So the beret is a fairly fast, fairly fast dance in, in two and then a hornpipe, at least in this early stage of, of music history, is actually in 6-4, or perhaps in 3-2, depending on how you want to write it down. And so they're separate movements, but you can actually tie them together. Some performing ensembles like to do that. So they'll play the beret, then they'll play the hornpipe, and then they'll go back and play the beret again. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the beret twice, the hornpipe twice, and then um, a brief version of the beret at the end. Um, and another way that this sort of, you know, sounds interesting, both with a regular Baroque orchestra as well as this fife arrangement that I made a few years ago, is by varying the number of parts that are being played at once. So there is one line in out of the four which is omitted one time through, and then it's brought back in for the second time through. So it sort of adds a sense of building and a sense of adventure, as well as just gives you more to listen to as the song progresses. So anyway, that's the explanation and introduction. Let's actually play it and hear it. The beret and hornpipe from Water Music Suite Number One. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, there you go. Bore and Hornpipe from Handel's first water music suite. It's a lot of fun. I'm glad to share that with you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.